enum and a magenti two team and temu and my anime me samina yo a fita and die and in Pabwa ye toma ye ye ni nema hudu wa sene beya omusu omusa ebitu ya kwa omano Abra wakasa wabeje ni muno Haruna Muhammad wanona ye koordinator ema zongo prenua jumedia wa shishei na nono wase abaybe kwa suwa abuwa omanfo e nipa bese ahasani ye diosia a wacha chile wamo sedi yesi edi jaye bie yanka siye jumano na wama wamo jetrea wadibe fitia siye ama bosu meme yansante muno wamo eti mi e hunu sedi ye business anase huu dija sedi yesi e yeno after the training the Zongo Development Fund shall provide support by way of startup grants to the most promising entrepreneurs that will come from this training program, which is what the PRO have mentioned. After we have given the money, we will not stop there. Our technical people will be with you for a minimum of three months, within which they will be coaching you on how to build a business with the skills we have acquired. We are selecting some most promising entrepreneurs because our resources are limited. And we prefer to give you support that is valuable than to divide it small, 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 small to many people and it will not carry you anywhere by way of establishing a business. And what you know, just a car by crash a penny a year, or Lawrence as ya lay, or no so so etchers say, a yapa papa se ubenya entity, a word you may be a wee mu, now what it's true, a year and cremu four and me bruno, one so so etimi a jay say, or two two to quine a com yam yahoo, a coswa swa, and your ma, a year in your mahoo do ne mum, one man cassata, or two swear be with human way. What we are witnessing today is giving the Zongo youth, especially the girls skill training so that they can have their own profession they can have their own work to do this one that they have learned will take a, will take them away from what going to Accra and become kayas on the street of Accra or Kumansi it will also take them from a teenage pregnancy it will take them from early marriage because they have something that they can depend on and this is a dream of Nana Dragwa and I as the DC over here and also as the parliamentary candidate I'm so desirous to make sure that every youth in Bwim regardless of what the ethnic or religious background must get a skill those that are going to school we are sponsoring them with the scholarship those that have not gone to school we are giving them the apprenticeship program and we are also adding it to what adding the entrepreneurship program to it and